Hi, it's Maxine from Twinkle. Today, I'll be showing you a range of leaf crafts that are available on the Twinkle website. Why not go on an autumn walk with children and discuss what you can see in nature? Whilst doing this, you can collect a variety of different leaves. When you get back, you can lay out all of your leaves on the table and see which ones are best for which crafts. Let's take a look at this owl craft. Children can start by colouring in the picture of the owl. After adding glue, they can then stick the leaves in place where they would like them. Now let's look at this lion craft. For this activity, you might want to use some paint to paint on the lion's features. You could even use some different colours. I chose some spiky yellow leaves this time to look like the lion's mane. Now let's take a look at this hedgehog craft. Children can start by colouring in their hedgehog. Whilst doing this you may want to ask them some facts such as where do hedgehogs live? Where do they sleep? What do they eat? What leaves would be best for the hedgehog craft? Now let's look at this squirrel craft. Whilst children are painting this, you may want to ask them if they've seen any on their autumn walk. What were they doing? What did they look like? These crafts make a great display when children have finished. You could even put them up in the window. Why not make a leaf bunting with any leftover leaves? Threading is a great way to develop children's fine motor skills too. Hope you find this useful. See you next time.